the way to heaven. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the acceptable day. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes should not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through Him the world might be saved. If you believe in Jesus, you will be saved. Now is the day of salvation. Come to Jesus, and Jesus gives life. Jesus says, I stand at the door of your heart and I'm knocking. Jesus is knocking at your heart. Do you know every heartbeat a man has? If God knocking in your heart and God is telling you that you are a mortal being, that you have mortality, one day you're going to die. You're not going to live forever, my friend. You're going to die someday because it doesn't matter how, how long you live in the world. You may turn up to 50 years old. You may turn up to 60 years old, 70, 80 years old. But I want to tell you, my friend, the older you get, the more closer you get, you, you're drawing to your grave. The older you get, the more closer you're drawing to your grave. And I tell you, friends, the moment you die, the only thing that comes out of your body is your soul. Your soul is eternal. Your soul needs the life of God before leaving this world. Because when you die, your body will be perished. And you, lose con you will lose consciousness of this world. If you leave this world without the life of God, you're going to perish. You're going to be condemned. You're going to end up in a, in a place called hell. It's not a good place for any human being. That's why Jesus came to die for your sins. You don't want to die in your sins. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Eternal life comes only through Jesus Christ. I tell you, friends, sin is a disease that corrupts the soul of humanity. Sin brings death. Sin brings mortality. And humanity is corrupt. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked and sinful. Our heart is sinful. Our heart is wicked. It doesn't matter how good of a moral person you are. You may have the best moral, my friends. You may have a best conduct. But I want to tell you first, your morality does not stand a chance for you to enter heaven. The only morality that stands a chance to come into heaven is the righteousness of Jesus. The morality of Jesus is righteousness. That's why you can die as a moral person and we go to hell. Come to Jesus today. Sin produces corruption and humanity's heart is corrupt. Out of sin comes all sort of wickedness and evil. Out of sin comes masturbation. The world today, this young generation is full of people who are masturbating and it is a sin. Out of sin comes LGBTQ. LGBTQ is an abomination to God. Out of sin comes stealing, lying, selling. Out of sin comes alcoholism. Out of sin comes drug addiction, comes suffering, comes disappointment and rejection. All of these things are sin. And when Jesus died on the cross, Jesus was dying for the sins of humanity. Jesus paid for all of your sins. The things that you deserve to die for, the things that you deserve to go to hell for, the things that you deserve to be condemned for, Jesus died on the cross. He took all of your sins. When Jesus was dying on the cross, He was dying for the LGBTQ. When Jesus hung on that cross, Jesus was taking the sins of the homosexual. Jesus was dying for the sins of the thieves. Jesus was dying for the LGBTQ. He was dying for the adulterer. When Jesus hung on that cross, dying, Jesus was dying for the fornicator. Jesus was dying for the thieves and the liars. Jesus was dying for the alcoholics. When Jesus was dying on the cross, He was dying for the drug addict. When Jesus was dying on the cross, He was dying for the rapist. He was dying for those who were born. He was dying for the whole world. When Jesus hung on that cross, He took the pain and the suffering. He took the judgment. He took the condemnation of all of mankind from past to present and future, 
generation, he died for all. And when Jesus died, because of who he was, he was buried, because of who he was, the grave could not keep Jesus down. Because of who Jesus was, death could not keep Jesus in the grave. Because of who Jesus was, hell could not keep Jesus down. Jesus rose from the grave. He did not rise with flesh and blood. Jesus rose with immortality. Jesus rose with eternal life. Jesus rose with an unending life. Jesus rose as God from the grave. And when Jesus comes into your heart today, life comes into your heart. Because the life Jesus gives you is eternal life. Eternal life means an unending life. Eternal life is the life of God. Eternal life is the life of faith. Eternal life means divine life. Eternal life means a life that will never die. When you receive eternal life in your heart, you will live forever. Even though you may die in this world, your body will die. But I want to tell you something. Your soul will pass from death into eternity in the presence of Jesus forever. Jesus loves you. Repent and believe. The Bible says if you believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus Christ from the grave, you will be saved. If you believe in your heart that God has raised Christ from the dead and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you will be saved. Come to Jesus today. Come to Jesus. Because the Bible says all knees will bow and all tongues confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and the glory of God the Father. Are you going to choose Jesus today because you love Him? Because you want to choose Him as your Lord and Savior? Are you going to choose Jesus today because you want Him to be your Lord and Savior? Or are you going to wait for the last day in order to bow before Jesus? Because whether you like it or not, my friend, you are going to stand the bow before Jesus. All the kings and the princes, they will bow before Jesus. Donald Trump will bow before Jesus. Kamala Harris will bow before Jesus. Joe Biden will bow before Jesus. All your governors and your senators, they will bow before Jesus. Because Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Jesus is God in human form. 